Hi everyone, it is Kate from The Fold Line. I am back this week with the Sew Down. This is our almost monthly roundup of stuff that we've read, listened, maybe sewn over the month that we thought you guys would find interesting. Kind of like a little roundup of everything. Um, so I have, anyone who saw the last video I put up, um, I have moved in the process of the last week, I think. Yes, definitely last week. And yeah, I apologize if it sounds a bit echoey. I'm in my new workspace and let's just say this is the only nice little bit of it. Maybe I should show you. Okay, so this is all calm. And let me show you the reality. Yeah, basically a lot of boxes. Um, but yeah, so there is no spotty wall as yet. I'm deciding whether I'm gonna go for spots second time round. I'm not sure yet, so I'm still undecided. But I'm gonna to talk to you guys about kind of stuff that we've seen and kind of think that you guys might like too. Um, I'm gonna start this off by saying I've got a couple of <laughs> announcements. <laughs> That's definitely not the right word, but you know what I mean. Um, the first thing was that we won an award for the best sewing blog for 2018 and I just wanted to thank everyone who voted for us because we wouldn't have won it without you guys and I just wanted to say thank you because we really appreciate it. It's really, honestly I can't even tell you what how much it meant to us. We spend, as you can imagine, quite a lot of time doing content for the for the fold line and um, yeah, it just meant, it kind of meant, it meant a lot to us. So I really, really appreciate it. The other thank you was um, last, not last weekend, the weekend before, we were at the knitting and stitching show in Olympia and I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who came onto the stand and said hello. It was really nice to meet everyone and it was really, we were really scared about doing it. We'd never done anything like that and we took all the sewing patterns with us and I just want to say thank you to everyone who came and bought one or browsed on the stand or just said hello. It was just, yeah, it made the week end really, really nice because it was nice just to meet everyone. So yes, I'm going to now crack on and finish with my public service announcements. So um, the first thing I always talk about fabric, some patterns, some things that I've read and seen in the community, stuff that I've listened to. So I'm gonna start with fabric. And this one I am pretty excited about. Um, it is a collaboration with Merchant Mills and an artist called Hannah Bould. Sorry, my laptop is here. Um, she has done a collection of prints for Merchant Mills. It's printed on a linen. They are absolutely insanely beautiful. If you like that sort of Scandinavian, quite big graphic-y print, just, just go and have a look. I'll pop links to everything I've spoken about down below. Holy moly, I literally want to put this all over my house. I'm so excited. I'm now just deciding how much I should buy of everything because I want it all. Um, yeah, really, really excited. I really like it when fabric companies collaborate with other people. I think it's really interesting. And Merchant and Mills are always a very interesting company. I think they, what they're doing is really great. So. Oh, I think I need to go and buy some of that. I probably need to buy that before I let you know about it because I don't want it to go out of stock. I'm gonna go and buy that after I film this. Um, right, so the next thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, um, I was thinking, I don't know about you, and you can tell me if you don't find this interesting at all, but I think it must be really, I'm finding it hard myself to keep up with new designers that are being released into the ethra of the sewing world and I thought it might be nice just to talk about a couple of them in this video, just a couple of little smaller designers that you might not have come across um, and then you can go and have a look at their patterns and see if they're your thing. So the first company, um, I have mentioned them before but I do want to talk to th about them again because I love them, um, it's called The Assembly Line. This is a Swedish pattern company, um, actually they've got a, definitely got a sort of merchant and mill sort of vibe all the all the kind of collections quite pared down um kind of quite relaxed fit um yeah if if it were a um a shop it would be sort of toast i think in style it's really kind of yeah i i i personally really like it um 
and they've got how many have they got four eight twelve i think about 16 patterns um and they've got really really kind of beautiful collections they're just i mean they're just really really delightful so if you haven't come across them before i'll pop a link down below so you can go and have a look um we have them they're in paper format only and actually we've got them on the online shop as well so you if you did like them you could you could buy one um the next company i wanted to talk to you about is um a company called so to grow um i'm sure a lot of you probably have heard of them but um they are new to our shop this week and I just thought I'd talk about them because I really love their collection. Um, so Lindsay is the person, is the designer and she um, is self-taught, loves the kind of sewing industry. She's based in Australia um, but is American and moved over there with her husband. Um, her collection of patterns, I just, they're just really, they're just really fantastic. They're kind of, they're quite girly but not too girly. They're just really sort of nice feminine staples and I just thought that you guys actually would probably really like them. Um, she has got, how many has she got? Let me have a quick look, I should, I should know this. Yeah, she's got about 50, ooh, maybe like 20 patterns, so there's quite a few of them. But the ones that I really like love is this, there's an, a wrap dress and what's the other one called? The Meridian Knit Dress, which I'll pop pictures up. Um, I just thought these were really fantastic, lovely, lovely, lovely patterns. Um, I guess if this was a shop, they kind of have a sort of Zara feel. I think that sort of aesthetic. Um, yeah, I just thought they were really, really nice. So I thought we'd share that and I thought you guys would like that. The last pattern thing I'm going to talk to you about because I thought it was quite interesting, is I Am Pattern to our French pattern company, which I'm sure you've heard about. Um, they've just released a collection of men's patterns and they don't get spoken about that much. So I thought I'd talk about them a little bit because it's quite cool. And the other thing they've done, which is I think is really clever, is they've created one, three patterns, which are unisex. So you can buy them, are they not, well, that she, not even unisex, she's created them for a men, a men, man's block and a woman's block. So you can buy bundles of the two patterns together, which I thought was a really cool idea. And um, yeah, the three patterns are really nice. There's a, a sweatshirt, which I've definitely spoken about before, a jacket and a pair of overalls. Um, I just thought these were really lovely, very French um, and just, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Right, so next I've got um, a product which I was very excited to share with you. Um, the very lovely Kathy from So Dainty has set up a, a sort of, a, I guess they're, called, they're kind of acrylic um, sewing themed necklaces and that she's got four different styles and they're really lovely and really fun and beautiful sort of pastel colours. She did, she sent me a necklace and it is in one of those boxes that I showed you, so I'm really sorry. I, w I would have been wearing it, but it's in a box and I don't know where it is. So I'll pop a picture. We've got the scissor one, which I thought was really lovely, but I just thought they were very nice. They're 14 pounds each, and I'll pop a link down below if you like them. I mean, who doesn't need to treat themselves to another little bit of jewelry? I thought they were, yeah, really fun and nice, and who doesn't want sewing themed jewelry? Right, next up, I've got a nice thing, a kind of com couple of community things that I thought you guys might find interesting. Um, it's a, the first one is a literary sewing circle. So it, this is done by following the thread blog and I'll obviously I'll pop links down below. And she's created sort of like a book club with a sewing theme. So you read the book, the premise of this is you read the book and then you make something inspired by the book that you've read and um, she's not targeting it just at dressmakers so if you're a quilter or you do hand stitching you come together you talk about the book and then you kind of show also what you've made and I thought this was a really like really nice idea to bring people together in another way with with our passion but also talking about books which I you know I, I listen to a lot of audiobooks so I thought this was a really really lovely lovely kind of idea and this month's book is called um, The Painted Girls. 
Um, and I just read the kind of blurb about it and it looks really interesting actually. So I would definitely, definitely go and check it out. And if you feel like you are up for a bit of book club action mixed with sewing, then this is totally up your stream. Um, the next sort of sewing community thing that I thought I would share um, is our great pal Charlotte from English Girl at Home is organising a sewing meetup in Paris. I know, I know. We all want to go, let's be honest. Um, so there is, I'll pop a link to an Eventbrite page. You just register for free. You have to get yourself over there, but they've organised a sort of day of fabric shopping on Saturday and on Sunday, they're going to the um, Yves Saint Laurent Museum and also, ooh, they're going to a fabric warehouse called Benny Tex, which sounds pretty fun. Um, but I just thought this would be lovely. Like if you want to have a little bit of a break or go away for a couple of days, not sure what you want to do, this might be a really nice thing to tag along to if you fancy a bit of sewing related adventures. Um, she's also doing it with um, Carmen and she um, is French, so it will be really nice you've got someone there who speaks really good French, which is also quite handy, although in Paris most people do speak English as well. Um, but I thought, yeah, it's on the 18th and 19th of May if you're interested, but there'll be a link down below and you can go and have a little read up of that. Um, next up, I've got two things. Because I've moved in the last, and the knitting and stitching show, if I'm being brutally honest, I haven't had a huge amount of time to listen to podcasts or watch stuff. So I don't have loads of things to talk to you about, but what I'd really like is if anyone has listened to some really cool podcasts recently or discovered some new ones, I'd love to know about them because I'm having a bit of a podcast drought, especially if there's a little bit of murder because that's, that's what I really love. Rachel and I are obsessed with murder mysteries and crime stuff. So um, yeah, but the first thing I've got to, uh, to talk to you about is on BBC Sounds. It's related to the Christian Dior exhibition, which is at the v &A Museum, which I've spoken about before, but I'll pop a link down below because you just have to go and see it. Um, it's a really lovely radio programme about, um, about kind of, uh, what she called, oh gosh, I should, I should have got this. It's the lady who won a, um, I can't remember what the title of the book is. Oh, this is awful. She is talking about fashion and, and it's kind of links in with Christian Dior and the new look and what she wore. And it's just, it's just, you should just go and listen to it. It's so delightful to listen to. And also she has the poshest voice you've ever heard, which is amazing. She just, yeah, she sounds like a proper old English aristocrat. And um, it's half an hour long and it's just a delight to listen to. So you kind of get taken into a world of kind of glamorous 50s and 40s stuff. So definitely, definitely worth listening to. The other podcast that I'm listening to, not sewing related, um, but quite interesting if you have your own business or you're interested in business, um, it's called Conversations of Inspiration by Holly and Co. And she was the founder of Not On The High Street. She, it's a really, each week she interviews a different person who has a business and they're all completely different and they're really interesting. I really enjoy kind of dipping into that for a week, kind of for a week, for an hour each week. Um, it's definitely worth listening to. I'm gonna say, she is a little bit annoying. She is a bit annoying. But just bear with, just bear with her and the people that she talks to are really interesting. So yeah, go and have a listen to that. Last thing I'm going to talk to you about, not sewing related at all, but because I have now got a little bit more space, it means I can buy a little bit more furniture. And I just wanted to share one website with you because if you haven't come across it, you need to go and have a look. Um, if you like old, stuff um, it's called vinteria.co and it has the most amazing vintage furniture on there just anyone who's looking for some furniture whether it's a chair lighting like really really lovely lovely stuff it's kind of like how you wish ebay would be it's like curated and the photography is beautiful yeah that's that's it. i promise i'm not going to go into loads of home stuff but i just 
I'm a week in, so I had to share that with you guys. Um, anyway, I hope that was interesting and we will be back soon with another video, probably the sewing bee next week. Yes, it will be, that will be the next video. So yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye.